How do I always manage to look like a drug addict clown? Okay. Today I heard my neighbor planning a murder. Like, oh, she didn't know that I heard. I was eavesdropping, I suppose. But I definitely heard her advising her daughter about an upcoming murder. She said, you want to make sure that you do it when no one's around, <laughs> which is, I mean, straight off the bat, that is great advice for anyone planning a murder. You want to make sure that no one's around. So I didn't hear what her daughter was saying. Clearly, there was some sort of uh, disagreement on the daughter's part about this, because the mother then went on to say, okay, well, then you're going to need a distraction. <laughs> and then, as any, you know, good mother would do, she offered herself as a distraction. She's like, well, I'll have to do something to distract them. And then I presume the daughter still wasn't happy with this because I just heard the, the mother say, fine, you can do it on your own then. <laughs> I really hope they weren't planning to murder me. Oh, I thought that someone was hitting on me yesterday, um, but they weren't, they weren't at all hitting on me. Yeah, I was in town and I was parking my car. I had Lana Del Rey blasting very, maybe obnoxiously loudly, but like, how can it be obnoxious when it's Lana Del Rey, you know what I mean? And this dude's walking by and he's like, you know, you know when like you make eye contact through windows and it's, don't like it at all. I was like, okay, he's gonna look away any second now, but no, he kept looking and he was smiling and his smile got like wider and wider to the point where then he was laughing and he kept looking at me for as long as he could before he had to just um, move on with his life. Um, but even down the street, he, just, he was just shaking his head. He's a really big Lana Del Rey fan or then why would he be laughing and shaking his head? I don't know. Um, or I get like maybe he was feeling me, you know, I don't know. That's not like usually the conclusion I jump to, but uh, yeah, and then I got out of the car and I realized once again I just parked like a complete lunatic. Um, so that's like, he was just laughing at me. I wasn't really feeling him anyway. Like he was cute, don't get me wrong, but I just I wasn't really feeling him. He um he was he was holding a bottle of Lucasade Sport. Just generally, I'm just not attracted to anyone that drinks Lucasade Sport. Um, do you know how I ran into the other day? Someone that I somehow ended up talking to you guys about. Um, you remember, you remember that 30 year old that I was in love with when I was 17. So inappropriate, why am I talking about this? Yeah, I ran into him, like, yesterday, um, at the petrol station, and let me tell you, I didn't give a flip. I couldn't have given less of a flip, it was amazing. And I was just all bean stained hoodie and like... Oh, I've just recently purchased a pedometer. Um, and no one um, like told me that I don't have to step any heavier for the pedometer to, to measure my steps. So I was walking like a dinosaur, and there he is, just sauntering beside me. You don't understand, like, if this had have been 17 year old me, no matter where I was, no matter where he was, my heart would have been pounding, uh, just adrenaline would have been surging through me, and I would just, I would, just, I would have to follow him. <laughs> And here I was, and I just, I just didn't, like, I couldn't have given less flips, it was amazing. I guess I must have given a f some sort of flips, because I, f I was pleased that I didn't give a flip, do you know what I mean? So in that way, like, g giving a flip is such a complicated, um, it's, uh, the human emotions are so complex. The moral of this story, if you are just madly and deeply infatuated or in love, or just compulsively obsessed with someone, and they, they do not return the feelings for whatever reason, uh, maybe it's illegal for them to return the feelings. I don't know. There will come a day when you literally don't give a flip, even if you're walking like a dinosaur and you've got like bean stains on you. So, I just feel weird that you're there. No, I'm saying that now. I feel weird that you're there. Whew, shake it up. Hello my dewdrops and welcome to this vlog. I can't do it when someone's in the next room. I can't do it. I, 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 I just can't. I know I should just get over it, but... I'm a terrible person. Okay, now it's... now we're alone. <laughs>